Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of August reading for you all. August 16th through the 31st reading for Capricorn. How are you all today? Hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. It does take me just a minute, you all. Please be patient. My prayers are still going out to everybody all over the world that's going through nonsense. Please stay safe, okay? Two steps forward, three steps back, right? It's not very fair. All right, let's see what we got. King of Pentacles. The star card. Queen of Cups. The Chariot. Prince of Wands. And the Three of Cups. or no nose, which is actually a Capricorn. It's like the Devil card. Three of Pentacles and Seven of Cups. Envy. Woman holding a coin. Are you guys envious of someone? Are someone envious of you? Communicate clearly and be assertive. Hmm. Give me just a minute, okay? Okay, you all, you know when I get the star card in between the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, I'm almost feeling like, you know, the King of Pentacles is definitely you and your energy, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. The Queen of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. I'm almost feeling like you all have been, uh, maybe, maybe, this is just a thought, maybe you're in a relationship and maybe you are healing your relationship. This is a healing card as, a, as one side of it. So I'm almost feeling like that you guys on one hand are healing a relationship. On the other hand, I'm feeling like a wish or a dream is coming true for a lot of you all with the star card. It's like a wish card as well. But it's also hope and calm and, and beauty and all kinds of other um, beautiful things. So I'm kind of feeling like that maybe you, if you're in a relationship at this time, you guys are healing something or you guys are getting closer or you guys are working on something and you're becoming closer at this time. Now I do have this or no nos card over here. I have this Three of Pentacles and I have this Seven of Cups. 
when I take them all together, I'm almost feeling like that you guys may be um, stuck, feeling like you're stuck with something that's that you have no control over, possibly. Because I'm almost feeling like with the Sononos, which is the Devil card, you guys may feel like you're being held back or you're not being able to do what you're wanting to do at this time. Because I see this Three of Pentacles, which makes me feel like that this may be something that you're, maybe you're trying to switch jobs, maybe you're trying to switch careers, maybe this is a hobby for you. Something that you enjoy doing instead of something that you have to do, for instance. But then I see the Seven of Cups and you're going to have options and opportunities and um, some, some things that may be opening up for you that you may not have known of before. So if you guys are looking for a job, for instance, or to switch careers or to, or to change something um, that's going on in your life, now might be the time to do that. There's a lot of, of, a lot of people that are looking um, for jobs at this time. So you, I mean, there's a lot of jobs that's open. So you may be able to get something that you um, are wanting something different. Might, now might be the time to do that. So remember that because I feel like this may be something that you're um, going to enjoy a lot more than maybe something that you've done in your past. And you may have more opportunities and options than you actually know. So it, it might be something that gets you a little bit excited. If for some reason you guys are going through um, issues at your job, because you're feeling like you have no voice, maybe, or you feel like that you're being um, held back, or you're not able to do the things that you're wanting to do, or they're insisting on you do things that you don't want to do. I'll put it that way. I'm feeling like that you guys, some of you all, are going to be looking for other jobs at this time. So that could be why you're thinking, you know what, maybe it's time now that I switch careers. Maybe it's time now that I go get a job that I enjoy doing instead of something that I've done for the last 20 or 30 years, 10 years, well, however long it's been. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of jobs out there right now, you guys. So um, if you are looking to do something different, you may be pleasantly surprised that you may actually enjoy uh, a new um, career or a new job that you're thinking about at this time. So I do think that this is going to be an issue for some of you all um, at your work or at your environment because you don't agree with the rules and things like that. So if that's the case, you might want to start looking for something um, that you may be interested in. You may be pleasantly surprised. You may even get, uh, you know, my mind's going 100 miles an hour, and I'm, my mouth is not speaking as fast as my mind's going, so I apologize. You know, sometimes when you don't have experience or you want to do something different, you don't get paid as much as you would if, if for something that you know. Um, right now, you may actually get paid more than you expect to get paid for something that you actually enjoy doing. So remember that, okay? I also have this chariot card saying you guys are ready to take on a new, um, maybe it's a, this new relationship. Um, hold on, let me let me ref let me phrase this the right way because that didn't sound right. Maybe it's you guys have healed your relationship and you guys are getting closer with one another. So maybe it's your new um, love. Something just don't sound right the way I'm trying to say it. It, it. You guys are moving forward in this relationship and you're not looking back. You guys are moving forward if you're looking for a different job or a different career. You're moving forward and you're not looking back. You guys are celebrating by the end of this month, I feel. Now, I do have this communicate clearly and be assertive. 
I almost feel like that there is something that might come up that you guys may need to uh, research or look into or ask the right questions about, especially if it's um, your job, for instance, somebody's offering you a new job. You may need to know the hours. You may need to know the pay. You may need to know um, what's expected of you. Can you work from home? Do you have to go in? You know, those kind of things. So I do feel like that this communicate clearly. And I also feel like it's regarding your relationship up here so either way it goes I feel like you need to communicate clearly and um, make sure it's understood okay because I don't know why I'm just feeling like that there may be miscommunications or there may be um, mis um, interpretations let me say it like that because I'm feeling I'm feeling just a lot of of um, you say something and somebody takes it the wrong way or you um, ask certain questions but they don't answer what you're asking or you know that that kind of thing I'm almost feeling like that there's going to be some kind of miscommunication so I'd just like for you to make sure that you focus on that um, this month when I see this be assertive I don't know why but there's something or someone or a situation possibly this or no no so I'm going to be honest that you all may need to put your foot down. And I don't like necessarily saying that, but I do want to say, um, if, if anybody can do it, it's you all. You guys don't take any nonsense and you're not going to take any BS. So it's one of those things that if you know that you're right, or if you know that you can't work at a certain place, if you know that um, you have um, ethics and things like that, and you just realize that you can't take it or you can't um, be involved in it, I absolutely would like to see you all to uh, stand up for what you believe in and what's right, okay? I don't mean jump up and down and scream or, you know, do anything bad. I'm just saying you all know what to do. You don't need me to tell you that. You guys um, will be the first to, to stand up and say, I don't think that's right or I don't believe in that or I don't want to do that um, so if that's the case you may have to uh, put your foot down I'll, I'll just put it that way I do have this envy over here but I don't think okay it can go in two different ways you guys could be envious of of maybe um, certain people or certain situations that are not getting so, uh, are not being affected by certain things. You may be envious of them. They may be envious of you because you may not be getting affected by certain situations or certain things. This envy card is understandable at this time. Um, all of us want to get back to normal and, and have some kind of um, normalcy and it just never seems to come fast enough. So I do see this woman holding a coin as well. I'm feeling like that it could go hand in hand with this situation, especially if you guys decide to switch careers or do something on your own or do something, maybe even work from home because you're going to have opportunities and options and something is not um, is not right with, with something that's going on in your life. Now, this could be your job. It might not be you all. I'm sitting here acting like it is because of the rest of these cards, but... If it's not your job, it could be other situations that you guys are kind of getting a little uh, flustered over. I mean, maybe it's your business, maybe it's your taxes, maybe it's your uh, income of some sort, maybe it's different things in your city or your state or even your community, maybe it's in your neighborhood. There's something here that makes me feel like that you guys are going to be um, being assertive about something specific because that's how you believe and that's what you believe in and you are definitely going to need to communicate clearly okay and you could possibly be getting some sort of financial gain or financial payoff or financial um, help loans maybe something to that extent at this time I do have this three of cups and honest to goodness, I just feel like you guys, by the end of this month, are going to be wanting to celebrate. Um, now, I see this Prince of Wands here, too. And for me, I feel like that this could be someone that you're dealing with. It could be someone in your community. It could be your child. It could be some a younger energy co-worker. Someone helping you out. Someone helping you move forward. Um, so it can go in different directions. But I'm, I'm feeling like that 
maybe this is your energy as well and you guys are realizing that you need to put um, your fire and your passion and your energy into something that's important to you all and that's when you just realize I've got to do this specific thing I'm gonna take off I'm gonna uh, attempt it and and this is the way it is and it's a, it's a good feeling honest to goodness that I have that you guys are going to feel a lot better about um, a situation in your life by the end of this month give me just a second okay I'm gonna rearrange You know, this Prince of Wands can stand for other things too, like some sort of happy news coming in. Could be a person, or it could be your energy, or it could be what it stands for. Maybe it's a message. A message giving you opportunities and options. I'm going to put him up there. So for some of you, maybe it is a child that you're looking out for. I do see this as you it being you or sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn male or female and I do feel like you have a maybe this is a relationship with a water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces if it's not a relationship it could be a mother father figure it could be someone that's helping you out a friend of yours a sibling you know that kind of thing as well but I'm also I'm feeling like for a lot of you all you're healing you're in the process of healing maybe it's your relationship but maybe it's something maybe you've been sick or maybe you've been um, just kind of going back and forth for certain for certain uh, reasons that's been going on lately and that might be why there's a little envy going on here too um, some people are are somewhat back to normalcy and some people aren't and it gets a little bit um, ag aggravating I do think too this Prince of Wands on one hand could be a child of yours or someone younger that you're helping or protecting or you know someone in your family on the other hand it could be um, a message or a messenger coming in it's going to tell you or give you information or give you a new opportunity. I feel with Sir Nonos, with this Three of Pentacles, and with this Seven of Cups, that there's something that might be going on in your uh, job or, or at your work or something and you may not be agreeing to it too much and you're going to realize that there's going to be a lot of different jobs out there if you're looking for a new job now might be the time to do so i think that with this be assertive and communicate clearly it might go hand in hand with this nonos there's something going on that you guys don't agree with you don't want to put up with and you're not going to you're going to possibly stand your ground or put your foot down or speak your mind and and um something that's important to you that you guys might stand up for at this time may or may not have to do with your job but I just feel like that with this seven of cups and this three of Pentacles you guys may be considering changing uh, careers um, getting a different type of a job and actually doing something that you would enjoy a little bit more and honestly you might be getting paid more money than you expected to um, I have this woman holding a coin here and I'm feeling like that sometimes um, when we switch jobs we kind of might take a pay cut but I don't feel like that with you all right at this time I'm feeling like you might be pleasantly surprised with the um, with the finances with a new uh, position or a new job at this time this star card not only is a healing card, but it's also a wish come true, dreams and prayers coming true. You know, when you think about it, it's almost like that you're being, um, it's almost like the universe has your back to a certain extent. The divine is helping you uh, take the right path or helping you heal or helping you with what you need to do at this time. It's a beautiful card and I'm just feeling like that here comes a wish come true. You guys are realizing that something is important to you. You're jumping on your chariot. You're moving forward at a fast pace. 
You're not looking back. You're not turning around. You're not even thinking twice. You know which way you're wanting to go with something specific. With this Three of Cups, there's a celebration. So there's something that's going in your favor that you guys are going to be thrilled about. And for a lot of you guys, it could be maybe you guys traveling. Maybe that's where this Prince of Wands comes in. You guys may be traveling and the chariot um, somewhere different, like on vacation, or maybe you're wanting to move somewhere different. Um, for some of you all, you're thinking about a new job, possibly. For some of you all, you're thinking about your child. Maybe it's regarding schooling. Um, it can go in so many different directions. But by the end of this month, I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised on how things work out. Um, you're going to be celebrating having a drink with your friends or your family and I really do believe that you guys are going to be in a much better place um, by the end of this month and it's going to work out for you. I really do. Alright Capricorn, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. This is your second half of August, August 16th through the 31st reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.